first thing people walk up to me and say all the time on the road is, you're that guy that eats the pizza nacho chili dog deep fried chicken wing sandwich. Did you eat one of those? That sounds amazing. And I think that people believe that. And, and the thing that's so funny about it is we find our comfort in the weirdest ways. People, people derive their own outcome of the show. I pick every location we go to, what well, my research team does, and then I verify it. But then I pick the menu. I go through the menu in detail. We get full vetting of all the menu items and all the recipes, like where did the meat come from, where did the vegetables come from, How, what's the process in which they do this. And I can tell just from the readout on it or, and the recipe what I'm getting. So people say all the time, do you go and get, a, you get surprised and the food sucks? And I'm saying no, because I'm usually so far ingrained into what is actually going on. But if you really watch the show and if you really do the tale of the tape, you will find out, I don't like fried food very much. I enjoy a French fry like anybody does. Give me an onion ring. But I'm not a big, I'm seeking out to find big, fat, glorious. That's not my style. I'm, matter of fact, the majority of what you'll see on Triple D is you'll see ethnic food. I love ethnic food. I mean, I love anybody. But I love handmade food. I love scratch-made food. I love farm-to-table. I love family recipes. But I'm not a big, and yes, we'll have fried chicken and waffles once in a while and so forth. But it's not, I, I really don't, I feel the food, I feel the, the show gets a little bit of a bad rap of being this indulgence food style. Now, answering your question, um, which is big for me to come all the way back to the question, because I'm usually <laughs> all the way over here already. I have to, and I have real specific rules about it with my team. I'll take one, two, maybe three bites. And I really try to make the bites count, and we call them, this is what I was told to call them back in the day, a princess bite. So you don't shove everything in your mouth. I know it looks like I shove everything. But um, you take a bite, and I have to really focus on what I'm trying. And I have to I go through a full regimen of what I eat in the morning before I go to a shoot. I make sure that I don't have too much of anything. I don't want my palate messed up. I mean, I really want to give you a fair, and trust me, if I don't like it, you don't see it. I mean, there's been locations we've walked out of. There's locations we've never aired. There's been items that I've tasted that we haven't shown. I'm not saying everything in the restaurant is, is, is awesome, which I've had people come up to me and say, I went to that place and the burger was terrible. And I'm like, I had the waffles. Oh, the waffles were great. <laughs> the waffles were great. But the burger, I said, I didn't have the burger. Don't, you know, don't shoot the messenger. But it really comes down to having a few bites and then, okay, take it. And especially when it comes to Asian food, I'm a big Asian food fan. And they'll have to pry. Sometimes we do fight a little bit. <laughs> you wrap that up right now. And if that doesn't make it into my car on the way out of here, you're a dead man. Um, but otherwise, I have to really watch. I do three locations a day. But I spend a lot of time in the gym for it. And I eat. I have a real regimen. I do a lot of green juice in the morning. Get all that, uh, you know, get those natural enzymes working. Make sure, you know, got to stay on top of my game. Yeah.